Hey guys, welcome again to the yet another episode on Arduino tutorials with BitBlocks. First of all, we are really sorry we were unable to post videos after episode number three. I know it's been almost two months since our last video, but we were also helpless. We all had to accept the lockdown imposed on us, and that was the very best for our future. But now we are back because we have to learn to live with the virus, and for that we must always keep ourselves safe and the people around us also. So be responsible, act responsibly, and keep innovating. Coming back to the main topic of discussion, today we are going to learn how to connect multiple outputs to our Arduino and make cool projects out of it. So let's get started. In this project, we are going to use our Arduino construction set, some jumper cables, and three Witblox lamps. Now, the code that we are going to develop will create a base for connecting up to 14 different outputs to Arduino Uno. Do you remember we have 14 digital pins or Arduino Uno starting from 0 to 13? So we'll be using any three of them. For today's project, we are going to use three Witblox lamps. If you don't have them, you can always order them from witblox.com, or else you can always tweak the project. I will share some ideas at the end of this video and also some cool giveaways. So I would request you to fasten your seat belts till the end of this video. Let's check out our circuit diagram. As usual. Witblocks power is connected to VCC and ground line of breadboard, and two wires from VCC and ground line of breadboard are connected to our Arduino. Next, we take three male to female wires and connect VCC of breadboard to VCC of each lamp. Now we take three male to female wires and connect ground of breadboard to ground of each lamp. Finally, we take three male to male wires and connect in the following manner. Data of lamp A to Arduino pin three, data of lamp B to Arduino pin four, and data of lamp C to Arduino pin five. Pause the video and verify your connections properly. Remember, you will not turn on the circuit unless and until you are two hundred percent sure that the circuit is correct. Once the connection is done, let me show you how the project will look like. I'm sure you can work out the craft part. If you're thorough with the hardware part, let's jump towards the programming part. Connect your board with your computer. Open Arduino. If your previous project opens, let's go to File, Open New. Now save this blank sketch with the name Three Output Test. And done. Now let's initialize our board. Arduino Uno. Select COM port, whichever COM port is available, and select Programmer AVR Mark II. All set. Let's jump into the coding area. Above Void Setup section, let's define our three lamps. We write integer lamp A is equal to three. Integer lamp B is equal to four. And integer lamp C is equal to five. Now inside void setup, we define these pins that is pin number three, four, and five that all are outputs. So we write pin mode lamp A is output. Pin mode lamp B is output. And pin mode lamp C is output. Now, why do we write pin mode lamp A is output? Can't we just write pin mode three is output? The answer is yes. We can definitely write. pin mode 3 as output but this way 
you create two problems for yourself. First, when you're dealing with multiple outputs and input, you will always have to remember which pin was connected to what. And second, if by chance you have to change the pin number of your output device, then you have to search the entire program line by line and make the changes. This becomes really tiresome. So we will have to do some smart work. We will have to give the pin a name and use that name throughout the program. So we never have to remember what is connected to what. And even if we want to change the pin number, we will just change the first line. That's it. Now coming back to our code, in the void loop section, I want my lamps to turn on one by one and then turn off all at once. So to turn on, we write digital write lamp A is high Let's give a delay of say 1000 milliseconds. Then we write digital write lamp B is high. Again, a delay of 1000 milliseconds. And finally, we write digital write lamp C is also high. With a delay of 1000 milliseconds. After that, we have to turn off also. So we write digital write lamp A is low. Digital write lamp B is low. And digital write lamp C is low. Along with a delay of say 1000 milliseconds. Let's run our code and see the effect. Next I want all of them to turn on all at once but turn off one by one. What do you think will be the change? Let's check it out. To turn on all of them at once, we write digital write lamp A is high. Digital write lamp B is high. And digital write lamp C is also high. Now to turn off one by one, what we write? We write digital write lamp A is low. Let's put up some delay. Then we write digital write lamp B is low. Again a delay of 1000 milliseconds. And now we write digital write lamp C with a delay of 1000 milliseconds. Let's check out the results. Now a new task. I want the lamps to turn on one by one, but when one is on, the others must remain off. So how do we do that? We need to understand the states of lamp. Lamp is either on or off. Arduino will never change the state of a lamp unless and until it has been told to do so. So we must specify each and every step and each and every state. So we write digital write lamp A is high but at the same time we need to specify that we do not want others to remain on that is why we mention 
digital right lamp b is low digital right lamp c is low and then we put some delay say 1000 milliseconds next for the next led we write digital right lamp a is low digital right lamp b is high and digital right lamp c is low again with a delay finally we write digital right lamp a is low digital right lamp b is low and digital right lamp c is high with a delay of 1000 milliseconds let's see the results this way we can create as many patterns as we want give away time We have just launched our Vidblocks app 2.0. In this app you can share all sorts of tech videos and your innovations with the world. For every task you perform you are rewarded with bitcoins and you can use this bitcoins in the future also. Now you can use Vidblocks app 2.0 to win giveaways. For this video you need to upload your videos with interesting blinking patterns of this project. Let's say you use a motor and a lamp to make system rotate as well as blink or you can use a motor a lamp and a bus and turn them on one by one select your outputs create a pattern shoot its video and then upload it on vidblocks app the video with most number of likes till 25th of june will receive the led nameplate project from our end so hurry up complete the project and get as many likes as possible Why don't you ask your friends to like your video?